Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place for Ins. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, I'm out here in my leather shop today, and uh, I got a little project I'm working on. I'm going to be uh, making a holster for my brother-in-law's um, revolver. He's got a 22 Taurus nine-shot revolver, and uh, I'm making a pattern here. And uh, it's the first time I've made a holster for one of these, so. It's going to be a little bit of trial and error, but we're going to give it a try. So y'all come along and I'll take this started. All right, for this uh, leather here, I'm just using eight, nine ounce leather. And I believe that should be plenty thick enough. I'm just going to trace it out here. light coat of Neat's foot oil on here just, just to uh, condition the leather some to get it ready. Uh, make sure it's good and oiled up. I'm not going to put much on it. I'm just going to rub some in here and I'll do a little bit on the back also. All right, y'all, fix and put some dye on this leather here on the inside and outside of it. Good coverage on it. I don't want to make this too dark. So we're just going to let that go there. See how that turns out. No. The inside is going to soak it up a lot more. That's all right. We just going to coat it good and even as we can on the inside. I'm just taking this uh, paper towel. I put a little dye on it and I'm just kind of rubbing it in now. I'm just trying to get the finished look I'm wanting. Just kind of smoothing everything out. That's looking pretty good, y'all. Uh, I got my welt cut out. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be putting me some glue on this here. And I got it sanded up and everything. Uh, I'm not ready to put no uh, adhesive on this side here. We're just going to do this uh, one half. I'm going to put this welt on there and uh, let it dry. And then we'll, we'll be back after a while. y'all got this welt glued on here and uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I gotta figure out my um, belt loop on the back of it and my my strap that I'm gonna be uh, putting on it so that'll be the next step all Alright y'all, this is the uh, 
belt loop and a strap that goes on the back of it right here. I've got a, my snaps. I've ordered some, so I gotta get those in before I put these on. And uh, so what I'm gonna do next, y'all, is uh, on the inside right here, I'm going to uh, put some of this token oil on it and just kind of smooth that down a little bit. And uh, on the inside here, I'll do that also, smooth that down. And uh, I'll be ready to uh, put me some stitches in it. And uh, I'll bring y'all along uh, when I get it all stitched up and all this put on there. But uh, so far, everything's come along pretty good. So we'll go. We'll see how it turns out in the end. Uh, I'm fixing to put some Vaseline on this uh, belt loop right here. Coat it, rub it in there so get a good coating on it. See that right there? I got the uh, belt loop stitched on there. And uh, what I did, I just put a uh, single stitch, saddle stitch on the bottom. Then I come back and do a double saddle stitch right here on the, where the belt's going to be in between there. So it'd be a lot stronger right here where all the tension is. And I uh, also went ahead and punched my holes for my uh, snaps. And uh, got to install those. And uh, right here where the gun sits in the holster, the hammer the, the strap right here to make it the width wide enough with a snap won't hang off the edge i pull this behind the hammer and i made a little notch right in there y'all so i sit behind that hammer and secure the gun real good you don't have to do that uh but it just makes it a lot easier you know some may you know just pull it right across the top of the hammer but uh on this one right here i like it nice doubt you run in behind the hammer all right y'all uh i got it sewn up here got everything in the snap and everything put on it now i'm ready to um i'm gonna try to wet mold it a little bit there and get it uh fitted there for the gun and then i'll let it set and dry and i'll bring it back when i get finished with it uh, here's this uh, holster got finished with there and uh this front and here's how it looks on the back there and what i did there i just uh after it got finished i put the resoline uh finish on it a couple coats of that so it should give a good tough finish there and uh i test fitted it and everything and uh it's good to go y'all all right hope y'all enjoyed the video and uh, as always, friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.